In the previous videos, you learned that you can use the transition timing function to control the speed of your transition. And we did this using keywords like is or is out or is in and more. But what if you want to have a custom timing function? So let's see an example here. Let's say that you want your transition to start fast, then pause, then continue. Or maybe you want the transition to start very slowly, then you want it to have a fast speed. Or maybe you want your transition to have a bouncy effect, like this. Well, using the cubic Bezier function, you can customize your transition. Cubic Bezier is another timing function. It lets you give the browser a set of values to say what you want that rate of change to be. Where do you want it to speed up? And where do you want it to slow down? So you can tell it this and you can make it yourself. That's the fun part. So let's visit this website, cubicbezier.com. And this is what cubic bezier curve looks like. And here we can play with it. So you can see as we are changing the curve, the four values are changing. And once you define your curve, you can compare it against the common keywords. So let's say linear and click on go or maybe let's compare it against is in and click on go and now let's see what i like the most with cubic bezier if you move this to outside the range here let's move the first one to the bottom here and the second one to the top and now when i click on go did you see it now we just created a motion with anticipation effect so let's see it again Great, so let's play with the curve for the last time and see the results. So if you want your transition to have a unique motion effect, you will often be playing with this curve until you find the right one for you. Then you copy the values from here and you paste them in your CSS file. 